Hey, this is Tony and Joe from Lone Wolf Paintball, and we're going to do a quick history of the business. Uh, this is going to be in response to Ryan Nottingham. He had commented on our YouTube channel. Have you or did you guys see yourself running a paintball store 10 years ago? For us, it was kind of easy. We were born into it. Uh, didn't really have an option. And uh, I'll let Joe kind of go from there. Cool. Yeah, as far as, uh, as far as the history, I'm Joe, the current owner of Lone Wolf Paintball now. Work real close with my brother Tony. As far as this, you know, how Lone Wolf got its start, started out, you know, a long time ago, almost 30 years ago now. Our dad, Sam, you know, was real active. You know, was always an entrepreneur. He uh, was real successful in the produce business with his father. You know, also he was, you know, into the guns, the survival, the war games. Uh, paintball was, you know, brand new back in the, you know, kind of the mid 80s. All started out, you know, he got invited out by a group of friends one day to, you know, come and play the new, you know, paintball survival game. You know, out at a buddy's property, somebody had some guns and all that, uh, you know, new thing. And certainly caught his interest, went out there and uh, played with those guys the first day. And, you know, after that, he was hooked. You know, that was something he wanted to do, keep playing. But the problem was, with it being a brand new sport like that, you know, everything was real expensive. I mean, case of paint now, you know, you can get paint for 45 50 bucks. Back then, around $120 or so a case. Yeah, it was, and that was even the cheapest. You know, a lot of times it was, you know, 150 160 bucks. You know, per case, you know, gun technology was super limited. You know, didn't have all these high-end fancy guns like we did. Started out with just the Splat Masters and L Spots, uh, your Titman, you know, SMGs, small shooting guns. So with that, obviously, you know, he wanted to get into it and, you know, knew obviously, uh, you know, the best way to, you know, start getting discounted stuff for him and his buddies, <laughs> you know, was to start their own field. So that's actually how Lone Wolf came about. Um, you know, it really wasn't even something for, you know, to make money. It was just he wanted to be able to play with his buddies and go out. So they started his first field in uh, 1987, 88, um, opened up in Almont, Michigan on the Bristol Apple Orchards. Uh, that was the very first Lone Wolf field uh, we'd ever had. You know, real big course out there. Uh, still to this day, one you know one of the coolest fields we'd ever had. You know, so after that, this kind of started to grow over the next couple of years. Uh, we ended up opening up a pro shop in downtown Utica. You know, he was still doing the produce business, and eventually, the uh, the paintball business started to grow, started to get a lot bigger, and uh, ended up getting out of produce and doing uh, paintball full time. Back then, you know, me and Tony were just just little kids running around, uh, running around, running the field. around <laughs> causing trouble at the paintball field, <laughs> picking up paintballs, bugging his friends, and all that type of stuff. But uh, yeah literally born and raised into it you know we opened up the original uh, outdoor field now mont opened up our first pro shop in downtown utica you know over the next couple of years the business began to grow and we ended up uh, having the opportunity to take over the field up in metamora which we still operate to this day lone wolf west up in metamora from like 1980 to 1990 that field up there you know awesome train had changed hands between four or five different guys and uh we ended up having the opportunity to take it over in 1990 so we did and uh you know still running that field to its day so that was our uh the second outdoor field we opened up um, over the next eight years paintball just really began to grow you know now it wasn't you know had been around 10 15 years you know word gotten out everything like that uh, you know really started to grow and uh, we had the opportunity to open up in uh, the spring of 1998 uh, we opened up our uh, Mount Clemens outdoor field with, you know, that one's still running to this day over at the Gibraltar Trade Center. You know, that field is, uh, you know, really what kind of put us on the map. Being up in Almont and uh, up in Metamora was nice, but having the opportunity to be right on the property, the Gibraltar Trade Center. Good variety of fields. We have our speedball courses, all the woods fields along the property. But just ended up being a great location for us. A lot of exposure, so it really started to bring paintball mainstream. We do tons of parties, things like that. You know, we kept running those fields. Tony and I started you know, working, working for our dad and part-time in the weekends when we were teenagers and high school things like that both when we got out uh, got of high school started working for our dad full-time learning everything from running the business ordering paint fixing guns all that type of stuff you know we do it all so it was kind of you know kind of almost natural for us we we're getting groomed to you know, start to take over the business 2011 i actually you know, officially purchased the business from our dad took it over and that's when uh, you know tony and i really started busting to move doing a big push with our social media our advertising and taking this day up you know, a whole new approach trying to elevate it to the next level uh, just within a couple years in 2013 that's when we opened up our indoor field here in Clinton Township now at the pro shop nice field party rooms everything you got a lot of hard work and dedication from uh, myself Tony you know all the staff that's worked for us over the years to, you know to get it where it is now so you know currently we operate our indoor field and pro shop here in Clinton Township uh, we have the outdoor in Mount Clemens. We have the outdoor out in Metamora as well. Certainly have plans to expand, open up another indoor location, uh, another outdoor field. And that, it's been, you know, it's been a family thing. Um, you know, it's awesome work, you know, working side by side with my brother every day. You know, so we got a phenomenal staff and all that out, out here. So that pretty much sums it up. So hopefully that helped. Uh, I think it was Ryan Nottingham out. He gave you a full history of... Uh 
what we are, what we do, and how we've came to be this. So thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already.